Minamatsu. Minamatsu means living a good life. We're given lots of things in this world to give, to live a good life. And before I start any poem or reading, I always just like to say, Miigwech kujemuru gimi jion nesewen. Thank you, Creator, for giving us the breath of life. I think it's one of the most important things for me to learn in this lifetime is that breath. Would you? If I were to tell you a secret, would you be able to keep it? If I were to tell you that the universe is vast and life out there is in here, would you understand? If I were to tell you that you are me and I am you, would you accept it? If I were to tell you that you should live your life, accept who you are, live without fear, take risks, would you do it? If I were to tell you that, you that when you dream, you are really living another life, would you be able to grasp it? If I were to tell you that spirits are talking, would you be able to hear? If I were to tell you that Guajemaru is right here, would you be able to see? If I were to tell you that you are pure energy, pure spirit, pure love, would you be able to live it? This next poem I'm going to read. Uh, <laughs> Uh, what we were talking about today is uh, how we can learn from the natural land and the original instructions given to everything on this planet. Um, so this one is about resilience and I think salmon has a lot to teach us. So this is about salmon. A Greek bursts with activity. A raven flies with wings with long blue black feathers drifting on the wind turns on her body and hovers in the air. Raven dives into the creek below that brims with sockeye. Salmon leaps out from the water in red and silver arcs. Back fins wag and build a momentum, ascending further upstream. Bears with pigeon toe paws trot over with a swaying heavy head. Climbs on tops of rocks where the water flows and falls. With a mouth wide open, he bites at the springing salmon. Canine teeth pierces into the silver belly. Eagles swoop. Massive wings slow the body down with talons wide open. Praying in the creek, rising with salmon in its golden grip. Yet, the salmon move, push and endure. Through broken skin and hanging entrails, this gathering place is encoded in memory bringing salmon home, this long journey that nothing can stop, not even eagles, ravens, or bears. Hey. And another thing we're talking about today is death and grieving. Um, this is something that uh, I wrote for, um, for our sisters. Mist wakes before the sun rises while the moon hangs in the sky. Stars are faint winks. Mist gathers along wild shores and here you wait. Your hand glides along tips of tall grasses, caressing each sand strand as if it were hair. Dew drops in shallow puddles, chiming in ripples. It is in this time and space would be more accurate where you are perfect, alive with breath. Here you are, sister, mother, auntie, and grandmother, becoming one as the sun breaks the horizon. All is not lost. There is a balance hidden here, in the truth between light and day. In the golden light blinking along a line, the horizon frozen in time, this place where shadows live. You tell me where dreams are kept, in this seed not yet cracked as it waits, for me to remember to put it in the earth and water it for growth. That's how it is with dreams, you whisper. Your voice is the wind. Live, dance, sing for me. Plant this seed, let it grow, for this life, for this life does not end with me. It continues. 
let the seed grow deep in the soul of our mother, where its roots braid into creation, gathering strength from ancestors. Our blood memory breaks the surface of the black earth, reaching for the sky, the wind, freedom under wings of flight. This is why eagles soar. The dew forms around where you once stood and will stand again. Before the sun rises and the moon sets, this is your place. Where you will live, it will never be forgotten. Sometimes it's hard for me to write poems because, um, because our people are suffering and I take that suffering in and uh, I try to express myself as best as I can but also to leave it in a, a good way at the end. So I take my tobacco and I hold it before I write and I smudge and I do all this stuff before I write because sometimes it's really heavy. So I try to like, connect with things that are greater than myself to help me so I can help you. Okay, I got two more poems left. Carrie Ford, this is from my mother. Um, she went to residential school. Um, so it's about healing and helping others. Carrie Ford, she is rigid as a crevice cut into a mountain, side without any hands holds or a place for a foot to climb further reaching for those caressing clouds. When I touch her, she is ice covered. My fingers slip off her shoulders as I long to hold her close, feel her heartbeat next to mine once again. When I tell her that I love her, it echoes off bouncing around to the far reaches drowning in the downwind. When I dream of her, she swaddles me and plays patty cake, pushes me on a swing and only the wind knows perfection in this moment. Mother plus daughter equals unconditional love. It turns, though, this dream. Hands grip around wrists, dragging her away from me, from herself. And what she sees now is only an image of once once was. Now lost, be lost forever behind walls, in little rooms with little beds, with little books with pages torn out of them, secrets scribbled on thin paper. When I see her standing with a smoke in her mouth, my eyes are steady, I whisper. I am the constant flow of water, warm to the skin. I am the pumping of the blood, rhythm wraps around bones. I am the breath of the wind, hair knows flight as possible. I am the spirit that seeks to quench this love, with no more words but something more, like the tobacco that burns. Smoke wraps around us, and, it, and as it fades, it clings in our hair, our clothes, and soaks into our spirit, giving us its breath. And this is when we remember how we used to carry Sema in our hands, speaking prayers into this medicine, offering Sema to Gojemado. Blood is a river that we travel back in time on birch bark canoes. We gather all that we need, not only to survive, but to forge forward together. This is the strength that we need when we hold our old ones. Bodies will melt in our embrace as song Sema whispers around us. We remember the children they were and we will help carry them forward. Thank you.